Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new version of the Brave private browser rolling out. We've been bumped up from version 1.68 to 1.69. And like most uh, Brave browser releases, this one once again is packed with tweaks and adjustments, fixes, add-ons, security patches, and so on. Now, as always, to double-check we have the latest release, we head to our main menu, Help, about Brave, and the browser version after this update has been applied is sitting on 1.69.153. So 1.69 now is the latest release, and the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, has also received an update to version 128.0.6613.85. Now, first of all, before we have a look at security fixes and new features and tweaks and adjustments, like most Brave version upgrades, there is a lot going on uh, on the Web3 side of things, which is the cryptocurrency, um, the wallet side of things. So if you are using that side of the browser and you want to know um, about the new add-ons, fixes, deprecations, and so on, you can just click on the release notes and that will take you over to the release notes where there's a whole list of all the fixes and improvements and changes for Web3 if you would be interested. Now focusing on the Chromium security fixes, we have 38 security fixes that have rolled out in total. And there are seven high severity security flaws addressing common exploits like user after free, inappropriate implementation, out of bounds memory access, heap buffer overflow, user after free, type confusion in V8, and one of those type confusion in V8 severities, CVE 20247971, uh, is a zero day that's already been exploited and exists in the wild. So this is a very important security patch for the Chromium platform. And when an exploit exists in the wild, it's happening, it's out there, and it's current. So um, the good news is, I have found with Brave, though, is it's very good at updating itself in the background. But because we are dealing with a zero day, just double check your browser's up to date, even if you are not interested in any new features or tweaks and adjustments. Now, focusing on what's new uh, in the browser, and there's a lot of, a lot of little... Um, features and adjustments that Brave has made with this release. Now, first of all, you'll notice here to the top right in the toolbar, they've added the Brave Leo icon to the toolbar. So there's Brave Leo, where previously that was not the case. And I see you can hide it and hide Leo AR icon if you don't want it in the toolbar. And they've also added it to the hamburger menu, as they call it, or as I call it, the main menu. So there we go, Brave Leo can be um, located now in those two different areas of the browser. And while we are talking about uh, Brave Leo, apparently they've added the ability to bring your own model uh, to Brave Leo. Now what that is all about basically is it's a feature, um, the feature is a new setting that allows you to connect your self-hosted and or third-party hosted LLMs to Leo. So if we head into the gear icon advanced settings and we scroll down here you'll see your models connect your self-hosted or third-party hosted llm to leo, to leo and use them within the browser so if you want to do that you can add a new model from that toggle over there so that may be a nice move if you are using the ar assistant brave leo in the brave browser now focusing on some other um, add-ons they've added the sidebar settings to the top level in the hamburger menu, which I actually think is a nice move. So here you'll see um, sidebar is off, sidebar is on. And you can activate that directly from the hamburger menu without having to head into the actual settings, which I think is a nice move. So there we go. If you are using the sidebar, just bringing that to your attention. And they've also added a show full screen reminder to press escape on exit uh, under the Brave uh, settings system. So for that, if we head to the system page, yeah, you'll see show full screen reminder to press escape on exit. So you can toggle that on and toggle that off as well. Now something else I've just, like I do with all these browser videos, um, I'll just pull out a couple of highlights that I think most would be interested in. 
So something else just to bring to your attention is there are four security updates for the actual browser itself for, de for various components. So they are patching a couple of security issues in the actual browser. And then when it comes to Brave Shields, which is the built-in ad blocker, which works very well, by the way, um, they've improved ad blocking. So that's a good that's good to know, um, especially with YouTube's um, clamping down further on ad blocking. So that's always a nice move in the right direction. And then they've increased the size of the delete browsing data modal. So if you head to your main menu, delete browsing data, this menu and dialog, this is a lot bigger. I can actually see that it was a little bit smaller. So obviously, um, just to give you a little bit more kind of real estate when it comes to the different settings and so on. So. And that menu um, is has been increased in size according to Brave. And I'm just going to mention the next one. Um, they've removed Hangouts from Brave Settings extensions. And they've also fixed a crash which occurred on navigation in certain cases, which I always say any crash that's addressed and fixed is always a step in the right direction. So over and above fixing a crash, there are one, two, three, four other uh, bug fixes that have rolled out for different areas of the browser that improve stability, um, side panel, um, news, a Brave Leo, and so on. So that's just to mention a couple. So that's more or less uh, what's new in Brave. So if you are using Brave, go double check it's up to date, which I'm sure by now, if it has been running on your PC, would have been updated automatically in the background. And this update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 22nd of August. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.